Hi folks, um, it's becoming clear to me that they're never going to call me One Take Jim, but um, anyway, I thought I'd better give you a quick rundown on how I got from zero to a greenhouse full of vegetables, because um, it's not obvious from the videos that are there so far. So here we are, I ordered my greenhouse back in the middle of April, I was expecting it to be delivered round about the end of May. So at the start of May, this was actually the 4th of May, I planted a bunch of seedlings out. I took this photo as a seedling map so I'd know what I'd got in each, con in each um, cube. So I've got two different kinds of tomatoes on the go, I've got some California peppers, some cucumber telegraphs, um, some lettuce salad bowls, some little gems, some rocket, some general mixed leaves, carrots, broccoli, asparagus, I didn't know it took three years before you could harvest it at that point, and some onions. Um, anyway, I, I got them, I stuck them under a, a light to help them get started and um, left them to it. A couple of weeks later I was bored because I hadn't got a greenhouse yet so um, I built myself some raised, raised beds out of the leftovers from the fence and my wife and I planted some potatoes, onions and leeks in there and a um, weekend later, here we are 4th of June, I put some netting around them and built some protection to stop the um, rabbits that we've got and the cats from uh, getting in there and using it. In the meantime my seedlings had all been growing and they'd rather outgrown their rock pool cubes so um, 5th of June I did my best to build myself a very small little greenhouse out of an old broken plastic tub that I'd had knocking around in the garage, so um, just to provide a bit of protection from the wind and um, from animals. Um, here we are with the lid off. Um, most of the seedlings were still in Rockwell cubes at that point. I'd, I'd got a, a broccoli and a tomato. I'd moved into that laundry detergent box to try a bit of cracky um, growth. It didn't work out too well and everything else was still in um, Rockpool cubes, except the things in the DWC, I've got a salad bowl lettuce, a little gem, a broccoli and a cucumber in there. And um, here's my first shot of some roots. Not very impressive compared to what you other guys have been doing on YouTube, but um, it was a first for me. So here we are now at the 7th of June. Um, I decided that I'd had to do something to get these seedlings out. So you can see in the background I'd actually started drilling holes in a bit of 110mm um, waste pipe and um, building my own NFT rail solution. So um, I pl planted the rest of the seedlings that I had into net cups. I, I bought myself some, in this case it was hydrolica from the local garden centre, but I think all these clay balls are pretty much the same. Um, and I got my first NFT rail up. So there it is, um, June the 7th. Um, June the 9th, things are starting to grow a bit. Um, June the 12th, I noticed that these plants in the DWC were doing really, really much, much better than the ones in the NFT rail. Um, they started to get big enough that the wind was causing them problems, so I, I tried to shield them a bit by putting um, bits of plastic either side, which seemed to help for a while. Um, it, here's the roots at the 17th of June, so I mean that's uh, 10 days since the first root photo, and um, 12 days since the first root photo, and you can see massive difference. Um, here, here's the NFT rail, the lettuces are starting to look bigger again, that's June the 18th. Um, June the 19th, oh, June the 18th again still, I, I realised that the plants in the DWC were doing much better than the rail, so I asked at my local pub for a couple of lidded buckets and they gave me some old mayonnaise buckets that they'd had, and um, I turned them into DWC buckets and put a couple of tomatoes in them, and there they are looking quite happy. Um, here, here's a shot from the 19th of June, so you can see how the rail was looking and how my wife's flowers were doing, not quite as impressive as they are these days. Um, right, you guys in the States all seem to be using general hydroponic stuff or master blend. Um, I couldn't find that in the UK for love nor money and I didn't want to pay for shipping from the States so I'm using canna blend um, nutrients. So um, I'll do a video about them at some point soon. Here we are June the 22nd, our first harvest off the rail lettuce salad bowl, had it with my Sunday lunch. Um, June the 24th, the broccoli and the cucumber in the DWC bucket DWC reservoir are looking really quite nice now. Um, the stuff in the rails coming along quite nicely, the lettuces at the end in particular. Um, that's a shot, you can see the cucumber at the end there is um, starting to do quite well as well. Now th this one's an oddity, here we are June the 28th, I, I spotted these two moths down underneath my NFT rail and I gave them a prod with a stick because I figured they'd probably be looking for somewhere to legs or something like that and they just fell off the wall and they, they were stuck together by their bottoms. Um, so I, f I figured they were probably doing some kind of love dance and left them to it, but they crawled their way back up to the wall, they spent two days sitting on the wall and then they fell off and both died there, so who knows what they were doing or why they were stuck together at the back end. <coughs> Here we have a shot of things on the 30th of June, um, I'd moved the big broccoli out of the DWC 
reservoir of the NFT's reservoir now and moved it into a Dutch bucket of its own. Um, the tomatoes were getting big enough that the wind was starting to be a problem and they were starting to fall over. So I had to improvise some kind of, um, I'm no way of putting strings up at this point, so I, I just used that um, chicken wire to form a little frame around the tomato to help it protect it against the wind. Um, I got another couple of DWC buckets up and running. Here we are, July the 3rd. Moved the other broccoli and the other the last tomato into DWC buckets because they were just doing so much better than the uh, ones in the rail. Um, it, here's the big broccoli plant. Um, I, I nicknamed this one Brock Hughes later on as a tribute to the great man. Um, and it, here's the things in the DWC buckets, and you can see they're really starting to go for it at this stage. We're now up to the 7th of July here. Um, it, here's how things are looking. Again, 7th of July, cucumber at the end is coming along nicely. Um, all right, this was a, a bad week for plants at this stage. Here we are, this is the 11th of July. It was really windy and rainy, and all the plants were getting battered terribly. So I, I threw this uh, green netting over to help protect them from the wind mainly, which worked great. Um, here we are at the 11th of July, and I noticed we got our first cucumber on the way. So I'm very impressed to see that. I thought we'd have that ready in a couple of weeks. Um, in the meantime, the raised beds, here they are at 11th of July. Potatoes are looking huge, starting to flower. The onions are coming on nicely. That's all doing quite well. Um, here we are, 14th of July. They promised my greenhouse was getting delivered tomorrow, so I had to move everything from where the greenhouse was and stuck it all round by the kitchen window. Um, and on the 15th of July, my greenhouse actually arrived. Hooray! So uh, the next day, 16th of July, I spent some time playing around with how I was going to put things inside. And by the 17th of July, I'd actually got my new NFT rails. That's not the same rail that's been in the other photos. I made two whole new ones there. I've still got the other one around the back of the kitchen window. And the 17th of July, we got our first cucumber. <coughs> so here, here's how we're looking by the 18th of July. Um, I transplanted a load more strawberries out of pots in the garden. They just been left over from a couple of years earlier when we had a good go at growing them and the 18th of July we noticed Brock Hughes had started growing a um, nice floret at the top. <coughs> 21st of July I thought I'd better get some more seedlings because now I've got two NFT rails i would got some more slots for plants to go in so I um, built my seedling misting chamber and stuck them in there. Um, 25th of July Brock Hughes there growing a, a lovely nice head of cucumber there this was just before we went off on holiday and then um, here we are when we came back from holiday, um, the tomatoes are all going mental, um, we had a fantastic looking crop, crop of strawberries, well not huge crop but they looked great and they tasted lovely, um, cucumbers getting bigger and bigger, that was our second cucumber, that one's all eaten, we're now eating our third cucumber, and um, here's what we had with Sunday dinner last week. Um, so that's the lot of it, um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I'll um, shoot a video about the um, what I'm doing with my nutrients at some point in the future. But um, cheers, guys. Hope it wasn't too dull. Thanks for watching.